Hey, David. How's it going? All right. So let me check. Hey, is uh, Devin and Shania, are you guys here? Actually, see, uh, I have a two guest speaker today with me. Okay, let me actually make sure they are here. Uh, Devin, are you here on the line? Yes. Sorry, I was asking Devin, and uh, let me send a message, please. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, no, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get started. And then I know some of you maybe have a lot of questions, um, but um, uh, let me know anytime. Uh, I might not be able to see the chat uh, uh, very uh, on time, but um, at the end, we'll have some time for questions, okay? All right, so let me actually get some. I'm, I'm gonna share my screen here, okay? So I'm gonna mute everyone, just in case there's some noise in the background. All right, so. All right, can everyone see my screen? Me? The master key is key. All right, can, can everyone see my screen? I, I can overwrite all you want. All you want is the ugly thing. I'm seven. All right, so I'm going to get started. Okay, I'm going to disable the chat just uh, temporarily because that's going to be cause a lot of distraction for me. Um, but once again, I assume that everyone who are here today right now are either um, select to be the finalist to the game gala that's going to happen on Saturday or select to some sort of a science fairs, whether it's for their city, for your county, or maybe other levels. Okay, but either way, congratulations. I also know maybe some of you didn't make it this time to the final. That's totally fine, okay? Because, you know, very likely this is just your first time. Um, and um, it's, it's always, you know, a learning experience. And we have seen so many students who tried many times before and then they fail in the first time, but, you know, very quickly they come back and they keep going, do more hard work and they eventually win. So I'm gonna share some of the experiences um, I have um, by seeing from uh, other students over the past years. You know, when, when they go to all different kinds of competitions, not necessarily for Game Gala, but for a lot of others. So I know actually today I see um, so many of you here and uh, some of you actually been through the competition a lot. I mean, I'm just looking at the name. I think Alex, uh, Alexander, you, you, you've you been to many com competitions, right? And uh, I saw, let me see who else. I, I was just scanning this one, okay? So I see, uh, um, let me see, Derek, you know, you've been to many competitions, I know that. And then who else? And Ethan, um, also, you've been there a couple of times, I think. And Grace, good to see you. And you, you also, um, you know, done this a lot, right? So anyway, it's really nothing new, um, but if this is your first time participating in competition, uh, there's definitely some good things I can share with you. And also, as I mentioned, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know at the end, okay? And meanwhile, as I mentioned earlier, we will have two guest speakers to join with me today. And they're Shania and Devin. Are, are you both here? Shania and Devin, I, I haven't seen you yet. Yeah, I'm here. 
Oh, Devin's here? Uh, yeah, I'm also oh, here. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, thanks, thanks. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? So how do we prepare this? Okay, now, first of all, um, I want you to know how the competition works. Again, for those of you who done this many times, there's really nothing new. I think it's going to be exactly the same kind of format, okay? Uh, nothing really new except it's online. And even for online, it's really not a brand new thing. We did online, I think, half a year ago in some other competition. Um, but um, I, I, before I talk about the format, I really want to highlight one thing for everyone, okay? And whether you've been to the competition or not, now I know we call it as a competition. I know, you know, by nature, it is still a competition, but I really don't want you to think about that way, okay? It, it's not a typical competition you would imagine if you've never been in this kind of competition before. Uh, I would more describe that as a kind of a show. Okay, it's, it's a show of, of some cool project, the show of cool technologies, the show of code. All right, so it, it's, it's really, that's how it works. Okay, because this is not what's gonna happen. Okay, it's not like we send you to a classroom and then you will be given an exam paper and then you got a two hour to finish this and then we'll read this score and then to see how bad your score is. And then we pick some of the good scores to give them awards. Okay, this is not this kind of a competition. Okay, we're not talking this kind of exams. So you're not gonna do exams, so don't worry about it. There's really nothing to be stressful about this. Okay, I, I, I trust me, this, this one is a lot of fun and then it's all about showing what you have done. All right, so the project already finished for game gala, for science fair, or for some other topics. Okay, now this is the typical setting for science fair. Okay, how many of you have been to a science fair before? If you raise your hand. A local mm. science fair, you know, um, uh, school. Yeah, I'm trying to. Sorry. Reactions. Very, very good. Okay. Very good. I saw a lot of hands. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Wrong thing, not right. there. Oh, okay, guys. Right. Mute yourself. Okay. Uh, I tried. Yeah, let, let's all mute, mute, mute yourself. Okay, thanks so much for the feedback. Okay, very good. I saw so many of you done science fair. So basically, you know, you will be normally put into a big auditorium and a lot of these tables. You know, for science fair, you normally make a poster. Now, in another case, for a coding project, you, it's, it's an optional. <clears throat> and then you're basically just standing there for most of the time. It's a little bit bored sometimes. And then you basically stand and wait for the judges and then they come by and ask them questions. All right. Now, I was trying to find some photos from the previous competition. This is one I found two years ago, actually. I, I don't know if anyone are here. I, this is John. Is John here on the line today? Um, yeah, there are too many of you. I can't, I can't find them. But anyway, so some of you maybe know John. But this is the one we did, I think, two years ago. Um, you know, that's similar format because we need a computer to run the project. So you don't really need to make the poster, even though some students do make posters. And then, yeah, but then you just uh, have your project ready and then the judges will stop by and then they will ask you questions. Now, obviously this year, um, none of this will be uh, happening in the uh, physical classroom or the forum and it will be using a uh, virtual classroom and most likely they're gonna use Zoom. All right, so I think some of you did this one half year ago. So it was really nothing special. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone is a master of Zoom right now, right? So it's uh, pretty straightforward. And um, so as I mentioned, you know, once you have your thing set it up, now the judges are gonna stop by, okay? So they will actually um, come and then check out your project. You know, this is what happened in the classroom, in the actual physical auditorium. And they will check, oh, actually John, so what, tell me more about your project, what have you made? And then you start to talk about a project. And after that, they will have a lot of questions for you and then you answer them, you do some interactions. And then finally, the judge will some, have some good ideas. They will give you a score, maybe a rank. And you might know, not know the details, but you will know the result, you know, whether you will win within your category, okay? Um, this is what happens in the game gala. So in our case, you know, this is a, a coding project where you mostly need to use a computer to show it. So you don't need to really talk too much about, um, you know, the, uh, the, uh, posters, right? So in this case, you just need to show, oh, you know, this is how I run my code. This is what it's going to look like when I run it. This is how I play it. And then this is how I wrote all the code, right? So, and then judges, same thing. They will look at your project. They will ask you questions, okay? So some of you have done this one before. I'm sure you know, you know, that some of the uh, process. 
Um, and then this year, obviously, it's going to be on Zoom and it's generally the same way. They will actually look at your project. And then what you need to do is to share the screen and just show your project by running it. Okay, so you need to show the demos. I'll talk a little bit more about those. Okay, so this is how this competition works. So as I mentioned, it's not an exam. Okay, you don't do test. You, they don't give you score. You have everything already ready, it's already done. You can still improve it, okay, if you want in the, in the next couple of days before the competition, that's totally fine. But I don't think you want to change the topic because they already saw your project there. And this, I think they're going to ask you questions based on a video, the video you submitted, okay? So that's what's going to happen. And then this year it's just virtual, join Zoom, share screen, open your camera, talk about your project, okay? Exactly the same process, okay? So that's how the competition works. I just want to one more time told you, tell you that this is a lot of fun. Okay, I, I don't know how many of you will agree. Um, for those of you who have- I could agree. Yeah, you, you, if you participated yeah. before, I know that a lot of you were like just playing games while you were waiting. Besides- sure will be. Is about games, all right? And so, you know, it, it's- uh, <laughs> all right guys stop that interact interaction uh, okay uh it's gonna give me a lot of a distraction so um basically um let me actually clear this all right so there are a lot of good hackers here that's good to have you can't disable it yeah i did all right thanks for that okay. and then we uh you're gonna have a lot of fun because everything is about the games but if you do science fair it's not not necessary science fair in my opinion sometimes it's a little bit boring because people are talking about too much about math, physics, chemistry, biology, and depending on which uh, subject you like. Okay, but in in, in the coding competition, I think always it's it's good to see some of the cool project. Also, the fun part is, as I mentioned, that if you see somebody else project, if you got a chance, I don't know. Sometimes they, they let you to see it. Sometimes they don't let you to see other project. But especially if you can see some of the winning project, that's very very helpful. Okay, because you can learn so much, and you can see what you did better and what you can see what you can learn from others and it's a very good way to you know um uh, to exchange ideas and then learn from each other and then also i want to mention that you know the main people who's going to look at your project ask you questions are judges okay when you say judges first of all i want to tell you who are the judges normally the judges uh, either come from your schools your school teachers sometimes will become judges Okay, of course, in this case, it had to be probably uh, computer teachers. And then sometimes the, the judges come from universities. Okay, like myself, I've been to the judging some of the science fairs very frequently. And then um, they, depending on your field, there may be professors from computer science, from mathematics, from biology, you know, depending on the theme of the competition. Um, also, in many cases, the judges come from companies. Okay, in this case, I know there are a lot of judges actually coming from Google, from uh, Microsoft, some of them are coming from some of the game companies, uh, at least some judges I know that they're going to show up. So, you know, I, I don't know which judge is going to judge your project, but these are where the judges come from. So it's a great way to show your project to these experts. And it's a very good way to, to learn and get feedback from them. Um, so, but at the same time, I don't want you to feel very stressful because um, one thing keep in mind, okay, the judges are always being nice, very, very nice. You know, their goal of judging and, and your project, looking at your project is not to challenge you, okay, to some extent. They're, they're actually, their main goal, their number one goal is actually try to encourage you. And because they know that you guys are still young, you, you're just learning and you're already doing something that's, you know, totally um, beyond your, your peers, beyond your age, you're so ahead of others in terms of technology. So they're actually very excited to see what you have done. They're always gonna give you encouragement. Um, they're always give you, gonna give you a compliment. And then they will actually give you good feedback on how to improve what you need to change. But I, I really highly doubt they're gonna give you any kind of a, a criticize. They're not gonna say, oh man, this is too simple. This is useless. I, I'm not gonna place. I, I don't think they're gonna tell you that, right? So it, it's a very good way to talk to the judges. I can guarantee these judges are so much nicer than your school teachers. 
uh, it had to be that way. Okay, your scooter, I know some of them are very, very tough. Okay, they're very, very picky. Okay, I know you have your favorite teacher, you probably have some teacher you really don't like, but I can guarantee that the judges are always so uh, nice. Okay, so very, very uh, relaxed, just, uh, you know, enjoying that, that interaction with the judges. Okay, so this is what you need to do. All right, so you will need to um, um, finish a couple of interviews with, you know, a certain number of judges. The, the number really d d depends. Okay, we have seen sometimes just do one interview that's actually very common for online because of the arrangement. And sometimes you will need to do at least two judges. And sometimes when you get to the final, for example, you get to the California final for the science fair or some of the international final for the science fair, you probably will need to talk to four or five judges and for, for five different rounds of interviews. All right, so that really depends, but the format all the same. Okay, so you will need to talk and you probably have about five to 10 minutes and you don't have too much time or just very short interview with the judges and then they will ask you questions and then you answer and that that's it okay so it's basically a conversation okay not an exam okay one more time it's not an exam just conversation talk it's very uh, easy and relaxed okay now for science fair competition the dates really varies depends on when you are participating and then which one you're participating but for game gala i think it's this saturday uh, they, they sent another message this evening and make sure you check the email. Okay, if your parents register, um, you know, um, uh, double check the email. I think they're talking about the morning time of judging. So somewhere from 9.30 to 12. It doesn't mean that you need to stay for that long, but you probably have to wait you know, before until it's your turn to present. Okay, so I think more information will be sent out, but basically it will be joining a Zoom meeting. That's it. You join a Zoom meeting, you wait for the judge and talk to the judge and show it. That's it. All right. So keep in mind about the time. I think so mostly, I think so far what I heard from our students are mostly uh, are going to be done in the morning. Okay. So that's the format. And then. Uh, Dr. Sun. Yes. Uh, I, I have a question about the timing. Yes, go ahead. Game Gala. Yeah. So, so if, if the like the judge came and asked us a question, so if they ask us questions, so can we leave or do we just stay online in case another person came? Sorry. So you said you said Thomas. You said once you finish all the questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. With one judge. I'm pretty sure once you're done with your interview, you can you can leave. You don't okay. have for the whole time however before your interview you probably don't want to leave because you don't you never know where right, yeah. okay yeah all right thank you normally in the actual physical uh classroom you're not supposed to leave because you never know when the next judge will come but in on, online if you did it if they tell you oh you only do one interview then basically um that's it once you're done you should be able to leave but always double check with the judge okay all right for timing, yes, Daniel asked. So some they said 9.30 to 5. I'm actually not sure. Uh, well, we will wait for more detail, but it's very important that you do that in the morning. Uh, in the afternoon, they might have a ceremony, uh, presentation, or some other fun activity. I don't know what they're going to do this year for online, but if you guys remember last year and then also the year before that, um, they had some cool and fun game come activities. I remember two years ago, they were playing the Tetris games. Um, last year, what they did, I, I forgot. They, they did uh, some kind of a quiz, I remember. Anything. 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 Oh, 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 sorry. sorry. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, so um, um, yeah. So, but watch for the, for the details of the email, okay? But most likely the judging will probably be finished in the morning time, okay? This Saturday, keep in mind. All right, so these are some of the tips I would like to share first, okay? This is basically what I learned from all students. And then uh, later on, I will have some more winners to, to share their own experiences, okay? The tip number one is that when you start to talk your project, okay, first of all, if it's your turn to start to, to present, and then the judge will say, oh, Thomas, you know, could, could you please talk about your project? That, that's going to that's what happened, right? So you, you will start to talk first. You don't want to, the judge is not going to start asking questions, right? So you need to talk first. But then when you start to talk first, um, 
this is just my recommendation, okay? Always don't don't rush on your project, okay? Don't say, oh, you know, I have this game to show you. I'm gonna, give me a minute. I'm gonna run it for you. First and foremost, always uh, start talk about why you're making this project and talk about the, the stories behind it, if you have. Okay, for example, I know a lot of you are making Roblox games. How many of you are doing Roblox games? Raise your hand. Very cool, yeah. So, so I, 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 yeah, I know there are so many different type of Roblox projects. I do see a couple of like a parkour uh, type of project, pretty cool, right? Um, but then you need to tell us why you're making Roblox this. games. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, say it again. I'm making a Roblox game and my mouse runs out of power, so it takes a minute to charge. Okay, yeah, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, can I get a uh, question? Yeah, easy, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, um, question is, do you get something like cash if you win that thing or something? Seriously? I, I don't, I don't, you, don't, you never get cash. I'm but, wishing uh, for a robot. Have, sometimes they do have pretty good uh, awards. I remember they, two years ago, they gave Xbox to the top winners. Wait, um, yeah, I, think they, oh, yeah, I think they, I think they gave out Xbox every year. I, oh. I think so, they did last year too. I, I guess not everyone, okay? Not only to the top. Yeah, award. to the top I'm, two. I'm asking this question because I'm pretty sure last last year my project won project of the year and I didn't get anything. You were talking, do you think you were probably talking about the other one? The one in the spring, I guess? Um, that one, I don't know. So that, that's the same thing. I think you probably only got a certificate. That's it. And then, but then there, there are some issues I know be, just because of the whole pandemic. Um, oh, but, um, this year, oh, you know, wait, I think this year, uh, if I remember correctly, everybody probably, they ask you for your home address. So that's why they probably should, they should still have some award for you if you win. Yay. Wait, how top is top? top, top. top. Um, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I got something wrong. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. I'll, I'll leave the question later. Okay. So I'm going to finish this part first. So again, uh, back to my point, always think about why you're making this. You want to tell people the stories because the reason is that the judges are probably going to look at tons of Roblox project. I know a lot of you are doing Roblox. And then, you know, well, everyone's pro project is very cool. Now you want to make sure the judge can remember a project after they see six, eight, 10 projects still. Okay, if I see 10 different projects all about parkour, I got a little bit bored. And then when I started to pick the winner, I got to think about w w which one is better, which one is special and which one I still remember, okay? So that's, you know, why this one can help because if you have a very interesting story a reason that you made this a project, um, you know, tell that, okay, let, so, because that's gonna help the judges to remember your project. Um, this is a very important, okay? Uh, don't tell us, oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't have reason because the teacher asked me to do this, or I just wanna make something fun. No, this is a very bad answers, okay? Always think about, because the reason, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, you're interested in that topic, otherwise you're not gonna make it. But talk a little bit more, oh, you know, I've been playing, I'm just making an example, okay? I've been playing Minecraft for over the past six years. I, I, I always do like this challenge of parkour track. Now I started to play Roblox. So I wanna see if I can make a similar parkour track in Roblox. So anyway, to all that kind of a detail, the story you have, the personal, the more personal, the better, okay? So this is the tip one. Now, next one uh, is once you talk about um, why you're making it, now you immediately should show a very cool, very fun live demo of your project. Okay, keep in mind guys, you, this one had to be live um, or it's better to be live. That means the live demo means that you actually share your screen, run your project, no matter what kind of project it is, Roblox, Minecraft, Python, Unity, it doesn't matter. You click on a button to run it and then run the game and play the game and then talk about it, okay? So, because the reason is very simple. I don't know how many of you are- Do I write it first or talk about it first? For together, me, it's together, together, okay? You you play, you run, all your, your, okay, that was a great question. You don't want, you don't to, want to, be, to be silent there. Oh, 
just run a game. And then after that, you talk about that's very, that's not very good. Okay. I want to remind you guys, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are, are watching all this Minecraft YouTubers, uh, Robo, uh, Robo, right? I know this guy is very famous, uh, but I don't know his name, but no, why this game, this YouTube's are, are interesting, interesting. Because he kind of show you the live stuff, right? If we only talk, okay, no game screen, you're not gonna watch it. Or if you only just see somebody playing and, and doing all the Minecraft stuff, but then no explanation and no comments, that's also kind of boring. So you have this kind of good mix, all right? To some to extent, some your demo, your live demo should be looking like a, a, a live YouTuber demo, okay? That's what kind of a demo you want to show. The um, sorry for interrupting, but I have two questions. Yeah, go ahead. Like number one, does this, does the, does it work on a specific platform or does it work on every platform? What do you mean uh, platform? You mean your project? Like for example, Firefox or Chrome or just Safari. No, so 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 Melody, what's your project? Minecraft, but like since it doesn't save the world, I just have it in an already recorded video. That's that works. If you the, yeah, so if you if you for some technical reason that you cannot run a live demo, a pre-recorded video is totally fine. But okay. you know, but Melody, so when you're demoing your project, it's your computer, so it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, you just show it. The judge is gonna look at your screen. You're not gonna use uh, other's computer. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So um, uh, uh, keep in mind. Okay. After talking about why you're making it, just show a very cool live demo. Make it very fun. If you got some of the interesting part of the game, definitely show it. Talk about it. Okay. And yeah, then, I have a after the uh, sorry, Henry, you had a question. Yeah. Um, yeah. What go, if ahead. Time, go ahead, Henry. What if, what if times? What if time runs out? When you're when, when the are testing out your project. Sorry, time. You mean time runs out, right? Yeah. I don't think there is a very strict time timeout. They're not gonna cut you if you can't finish it. Okay, but they, they will remind you, Henry. Oh, you only have actually two minutes left. Could you actually try to wrap up a sword? Okay, so don't worry. Don't worry. So, what I'm I'm saying is that the judges are so nice. They're not gonna cut you and then just let, don't let you talk and move on. No, they will give you opportunity and then they will say, oh, you know, Henry, I have seen enough about our game. I think I understand it. May I ask you a couple of questions? That's probably what's going to happen. All right, but, but, but if you have technical issues on your game and that's take forever, well, I guess you, could, you probably need to prepare some kind of backup plan, whether show a video or, you know, show, just show some of the code. All right. So, but you know, keep in mind you probably have about five to ten minutes, and um, don't just run too uh, too long. And Evan, and Evan, question, question. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Like, I, I'm, I know Scratch, but I have a game. I, the game I shared was like it, uh, it was wrong. It was all mixed up with codes, so like, I don't. You mean, you mean there's something, there something wrong, wrong with you right now? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let, 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 let your mom send me a message after this talk. Uh, oh no! Okay, Evan. You know, let your let your mom reach me out, and then I'll I'll I will help you to fix it. Can you briefly restate tip two? I I wasn't able to write it down. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Melody. What 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 do you want to write down? Oh yeah, tip two. Can you like go back? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I will, you know, I will actually send this slide also to all of us so that you can actually see it. Okay, the, the tip two is make sure- um, Can I ask you a question? And on a uh, live demo. Uh, yes, is that it, Jeffrey? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Since on my project, I only sent a YouTube video and the original project is accidentally deleted by myself. That's fine, just show a video, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, you can. Um, that's that's okay. you know that, well. I I'm just saying it's better to have that one ready next time. Make sure you definitely prepare the and then save the project well. Okay. Uh, Doctor. Um, so. Yes, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. About the live demo. So, so, so my app was the sleep feed detection one. So, mm -hmm. for a live de demo, do I do it on the emulator or do I actually show my own face? What whatever you can do to sh to to project that on a screen. 
and so that they can see it. Thomas. Okay. Yeah. So, but the the, the the more live, the better. So, which means that if you can do the real camera feed for yourself and project your phone screen, that's the best. Yeah. So, okay. how many Zoom account can we call in on that day of the competition? Uh, I, no, I don't think there there are going to be a limit. Uh, but you do have to explain to the uh, admins or hosts that if you're joining separately, you got to clarify why you're coming in or something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Um, do we seriously need to make a video? You don't need to make a video, Barbie. So you, you just show the demo, show the game. <laughs> so you already submitted that video, I think. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, did I ever make a video? Uh, well, it's probably coming from one of the videos you did. So remember you did the presentations at the end of the class? Oh, so that's the video. That, that's probably what you used. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, Doctor Sun. Yes, Nikki, go ahead. Just, uh, just a quick question. Um, since I am, uh, since I am doing AR as my submission, and then since I can do like two objects at a time, but then I don't have my other object, and I don't exactly know where my video for that particular project is. Don't, don't worry, Nikki. So I can find your video because when you submit your uh, project, you should have it. So, or your mom should have it. So, so can you ask your mom to send me a message? I should help you find it. And then the, you know, your first part of the question, though, know, if you only have one object, just show one object. That's totally fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever you have, okay. Yeah, but you know, just definitely prepare, think about how you can show that in the in the best possible way. Okay, thank you. All right, so let me, guys, let me continue. I'll take some more questions later. And if you, once you finish your demo of the project and then you're gonna show, briefly show about our code, because don't forget this is, even though it's game gala showing the game, but they're talking about like the game you made, you developed, okay? So you want to show briefly how you made it. Oh, you obviously you don't want to explain the line by line. You just want to say, oh, you know, look, this is the this is the code I use to control my um, you know player. This is how I can shoot. This is um, you know what happens when you finish past the finishing line, right? Something like that. Uh, very very briefly. Okay, don't take too much time on the code. But then it's, it will be good to show. Okay, you actually have the code there, and that's actually what the judges are going to focus on, okay? Now, the most important one, if you know that whole process, I, I just explained it pretty straightforward, okay? Why you're making it, demo it, and briefly show the code. Now, these two days, make sure you do enough rehearsals, okay? You need, you need to do a lot of practice. All those winners I saw in the past, if you listen to their presentation, if you listen to their interaction with the judges, okay, they all share one thing in common, that they are well-prepared, they even scripted what they want to say. They even write down, you don't have to write down what they want to say, but at least you should have some kind of a draft. I know a lot of you actually are practicing debate, right? So I know you, you know a lot of the tips, but you know, one of the most important thing you got to prepare, uh, you got to um, really uh, know what you want to say. And because during that competition, maybe you will get a little bit nervous. So you don't want to forget about what you're, you're trying to say. So the practice is the best way to um, to guarantee a, a kind of a good presentation. Okay, make sure you practice. You, you don't have to ha talk to that to your parents. I know it's kind of awkward. Just do that by yourself and, and try to see how you explain that very clearly. Okay, all right. And then, uh, so Doggo, you got a question? Um. Yes. Yes, go ahead. So do we need a different, do we need a, like a, a whole different project for this part or no. or can we stick with the same? Right, right, the great question. I, I know some of you actually got confused, okay? You do not make a new project, okay? You already submit a project, remember when you register the competition? Yes. And whether it's Game Gala or Science Fair, guys, it's the same, okay? You should have already submit that project and then you are supposed to use that same project to show it. Some of you even ask me, oh, I have a better project. Can I use that one? The answer is no, because 
the judges look at your first project. They, that's how they select the, 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 the finalists. And then they already have some kind of background of the project. So we'll, they will ask you a question based on that. If you switch the question, then they may get confused. Okay, so st stick with your original project and then show it um, and then just wait for the questions. Can we improve it though? Absolutely, absolutely. You can improve as much as you want. That's totally okay. Okay, thank you. All right, great question. Now, the next tip is make sure the whole talk presentation, your part, okay, your part is very short and concise. So by the time the judge asks you, oh, Thomas, could you actually talk about your project? Um, then uh, that's what I'm talking about here, okay? Make sure you can pretty much wrap up everything within two or three minutes. You don't want to go more than five minutes because that's a little bit too long, okay? You want to leave some time for the judges to uh, to ask you questions because that's the most important part. Very likely, judge already had a good idea on what their game looks like. Your video is already recorded. They have they, they know what they're doing. So make sure the first half of your presentation is is very short, very concise. Uh, but you no, know, once again, you know the way to get here is make sure you rehearse it, you practice, you prepare what you want to say so that you're not gonna go run uh, over time. Okay. And then tip number six is that you really need to make sure you know your own stuff, okay? Some students may ask me, what are the questions the judge will ask me? Uh, the answer is I, I actually don't know. There is no standardized question they will ask you. Uh, every judge will have their own idea, have their own um, preference, preference, and then they want to know different things. Uh, well, some of the common questions I can tell you, they may ask you again, okay, so, um, um, Melody, what's the most difficult part of the project? And then how did you solve it? And they may ask you, uh, Aaron, so what are you gonna do next? Uh, what's the next feature you're gonna add? And then they are gonna, they, they may just point out, oh, can you actually show me a code? How did you implement, how did you develop this cool feature right here? Okay, this may be the common questions you may have, but uh, again, I don't want you to worry too much about the specific question they may ask you, because if you know your stuff very well, and it's, uh, you're, you're gonna be fine because they will only ask questions around your project, the project you are demoing. They're not gonna test you. For example, they will not, for example, if you are showing a, a, a robots project, for example, and they will just ask you how you make this specific robot project. They will not say, oh, do you know in Roblox, how do you make um, something happen you know, with the code? But that's not how the company works. Okay, that's why you just need to make sure that you own, you know your own project, your own code, how you made it, where the challenges, where the things that you can improve. Okay, and that, that's the best way to prepare for the question. So definitely go back to open your project, look at all the code you wrote and see um, what, um, what those are. If you still have questions, definitely let your teacher know as soon as you can, um, and then you will be fine for the questions. All right. And then uh, two more tips, I will be done. Uh, tip number seven. So at the very end, okay, so normally the judge is gonna ask you a ton of questions. Uh, at one point the judge will, will be done. And then I would recommend you can think about, you know, any kind of question you can ask for the judges. Okay, now this is particularly important if you go to a science fair as well, is because the science fair project are normally much more advanced. And then, um, most of the time, the judges don't expect you to ask them because they're, they're normally asking questions, asking questions, and then try to figure out who is it's better. However, sometimes the student did ask a judge questions. So they ask, oh, actually, um, professor, you know, what, what do you think about this feature? Should I actually, you know, do this one, spend more time on this? I'm actually very hesitant on what, what I'm going to do next. Can you give me some advice? Or... Uh, you can ask, oh, you know, what do you think about this game? Or would you like to play? And what are the fun and cool features you want to see next? Uh, what do you think about the difficulty? What do you think about this graphics? So you can ask it at anything you want. Um, the, the reason is that, you know, if you ask judges a question, uh, that just means you're very, very special. And then you actually thought a lot about the project. And then also you're giving the judges a chance to, you know, show their knowledge to show their advice, I, I think as a judge, they will be really appreciating that. Okay, they really, and also that's gonna help the judge gonna remember you because they will just say, oh man, this guy just asked me this tough question. 
And you know, when they start to you know look at the winners, may, maybe you know they, that's how they can remember you. Okay, so the tip number seven, definitely keep in mind, especially for everyone. Okay, but for the science fair project, also same thing. The definitely think about any kind of a cool question you can ask for judges, because as I mentioned, this is not an exam. This is just a way for you to communicate and then learn from each other. And lastly, very easy, but it's really important. Okay, always be very, very, very polite, and then always remember to thank the judges because you know this. Yeah. Is the judge will spend time looking at a project, then they will give you feedback, they give you encouragement. And it, it's very kind of them for, for them to do that. And for you, for us, to so always at the end, remember to, um, to say thank you. Okay, everybody, this is very important. Whenever you go to this kind of competitions, if you talk to the judges, say, say thank you. Okay, because um, you know, um, that's just a very basic fundamental thing you wanna do. All right, so, that's all the tips I want to share. And then uh, to uh, summarize one more time, okay, let me pass this one again. Uh, talk about why you're making it. Uh, show a very cool live demo. And then um, the uh, briefly talk about your code. Make sure you practice enough. Number five, make sure your presentation is very short, concise, and let the judge to ask you more questions. You don't want to spend all the time to talk about your own stuff. Six is really look at your project in detail and understand everything well. And then seven, uh, you can ask judges questions. Okay, don't be afraid of doing that. It's, it's a very good way to interact with the judges. And then um, don't forget to say thank you at the very end. Okay, so any questions? No. All right. Uh, you don't speak for everybody. <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. I can take a couple of questions for, for now. Uh, about the presentation, are we just yeah. presenting like to the judges or are we like presenting to like an age group of like other competitors also? Yes, Peter, a great question. So I actually don't know. So either way it happens, either way it happens. So um, in science fair, you know, in a, in a poster setting, oh, awesome. you, talk to, um, you talk to the judges. Yes. Generally. However, there is no specific rule to say that the others cannot really listen. And the truth is, if I'm sitting beside you, I pretty much I can hear everything. Okay, so, and then online thing, I think last time they did it individually, but also I've seen like people will do that together in a group. Okay, but it doesn't matter guys, you know, if others can see yours, you can also see others. I, I don't really see, uh, but you're not, one thing I'm sure is you're not gonna do that for a ton of people. Probably just, if, if this is a group presentation, you're probably just presenting to a group of judges, um, two or three judges maybe, or you're, you're just within a group of students, uh, which shouldn't be too many. Basically the same. Um, can I ask a question? Okay, yes, please. Um, Cause I'm now living in Greece and I'm yeah, taking online classes. So it's the time of game gala in American time. Oh yes, yes. Uh, Jeff, where are you now? From Greece, Athens. Yes. Okay. Good. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Talk to you. So, yes. So it is uh, Western uh, Pacific time. Okay. Double check the time zone. Okay. Uh, okay, Pacific okay. time, Saturday morning, uh, nine thirty a.m. Yeah. That early. Time. Wait. What if I didn't got up? I'm Get sorry. Up. Where are you? Where are you now? Are you in China? Or uh, no, America. Oh, okay, that's easy. But um, you know the point when someone sleep at like 4 a.m. and you need to get up at like 9, you know, weekend? Yeah, well... I mean, no, it's impossible. It is possible. I know some of us. I don't, uh, by the way, any, anyone are in China right now? Raise your hand. My spirit is in China. My spirit, <laughs> like, is in China. All right. Okay, guys, I will take a little bit more questions after the talk. Uh, uh, what happens if we don't have a group? You, you don't need we to work. Read the, we made, so no, we, no, no. Um, so um, I don't have a chance of winning the teamwork prize. No, 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 Daniel. I, I think, uh, so I know some of you are doing with a team, but that's not common, okay? If you do have a team, keep in mind, normally, if you have more than one member in the team, they, they might have a slightly higher expectation because you got more people. They will think that you should actually do a little bit more complicated project. So if you're on your own, then I think they would just expect something from an individual. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. So for the competition, 
are we showing the judges a video or we are just showing them like the actual gameplay? Yeah, so that's why I told you in tip two, right? So you should actually try to show a live demo if possible, okay? Yes, but um, I just changed a new computer and the Minecraft thing is, is it really going as expected? That, that, as some of you mentioned that prepare a video for the backup. If you can, for some reason, for technical issue, you can't get it work, uh, at least show a video if you can. Uh, if if we even can't even show a video, that's fine because you already have video, right? Submit it. So the judges. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you very much, okay. and much very appreciated. No problem. By the way, what's your name? Hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's, yeah. What's her name? Michael Lee. Oh, Michael. Okay. Good to see yes. you. Yes. Your name is like iPad three, so I don't know. I don't know it was. Yeah, you. iPad three. Yeah. Good to good to have you here, Michael. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, excuse me. Uh, yes, yes, Alice, go ahead. Do we like have to ask a judge a question? Because no, like no, that's no, kind of no, you don't have to. Okay, like you... that's kind of rude. It's like you're questioning their ability. No, to judge no, 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 no. That's why I, I guess I, I want to clarify that I didn't say you that that you're gonna challenge the judge. I don't see you have the ability to challenge the judge. Uh, I mean... This judges, you 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 should ask them where they come from. The judges are coming from Google, Microsoft. And some of the game company, I don't think you can judge challenge them yet. Um, but I'm, I'm actually mostly saying that you ask for recommendations, suggestions, advice, feedback. Does that Remember, make it's against the last rule, being be polite. No, no, it's not actually. If you ask for <laughs> feedback for advice, I think at the judge, I can tell you, I, I will be very happy to answer that. Okay, because you, know, you think, gave um, me the first question that comes to my mind is what's your job? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, sure. no, um, there this is, is not related, but uh, if you look at the picture yes. for this slide and look at the girl with the purple shirt and look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I actually ran That's it. the future oh, movie uh, star uh, that Swin. knows how to catch camera. Lol. Excuse me, Professor Swin. Do you uh, mind yeah, if I yeah, ask yeah. a question? Yeah, this yeah, is go fine. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, on Saturday, um, January, um, I guess seven or eight, I am not available from uh, 10 to 1 a.m. So will that affect my attendance in the competition? Well, I actually don't know. Well, I do hear some similar, if you got some time conflicts. Okay, two points. Okay, number one. Um, try to make it okay. If you already done this many times, I, I guess it's not a really big deal. But mm -hmm. you know, it's it's always a good experience since you already got to the finals. Not everyone. Mm -hmm. I, I saw some students got rejected. So um, you know, try to prioritize and see if you can make it if possible. Now, secondly, I do know that you could you could try you should try to you know uh, write an email to the I will send an email later to tell them that uh, could I actually do that before ten or do I can, can I do that first? So that they can adjust your schedule because I definitely know you don't need the whole two hours for sure. You only need a five or ten minutes. Uh, it's just a matter of when you it's your turn. So if you could actually tell them beforehand, maybe they can arrange that. So so my my suggestion is you join as early as you can. I think they start something nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. So 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 come in nine thirty and tell the host, oh, you know, I got this thing at ten. Can I actually go first? I'm pretty sure they will. They will. Uh, right. Sure. Yeah. Um, another question. So um, if the competition begin at 930 and say you wait for a judge and then you got lucky five minutes later passed and you're finished with it, you leave the meeting. Is there any, say, award ceremony? Or I, I normally they do that in the afternoon. Um, just watch for the emails. OK. If you, can't, if you can't make it to the ceremony, it doesn't matter. The ceremony isn't required. You should already know your result anyway from email from website. Okay, uh, that changes. Yeah. Is, that, right. no, is that uh, Brian? Yes, Brian. Oh, Brian good, good. good to talk to you, Brian. Okay, all right. Uh, you Scott. said not every single person made it, but there's over 100 of people in this Zoom meeting. <laughs> all right, what do you mean? Yeah, lots of pressure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so well, we, we, we got, well, not everyone are in the game gala. There are also a lot of people who are in the science fair. I know some of the parents are here. Um, but then it's a good Barbie. You, you got uh, you know some good thing to um, you know to show. Definitely you know talk to them. Also, I I actually encourage. I don't know how many girls are here. Okay, 
Uh, it's it's actually there. There should be some good advantage. Wait, if there's any good-looking girls? There should be. Like I'm serious. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I I just you gave me like if you say there's good-looking girls, I would be like it's only you. Get out. So, so Barbie, yeah, yeah, keep keep you know listen to me. So the the most important there, there are not many girls in this kind of competition as always. So you know if if you can show some good projects, you, you got a better chance. Okay, so always keep. Yeah. <laughs> what well, well, um? Excuse me. Yes, Daniel. Yes, go ahead. Um. Uh, what? What? Wait. What are the prizes? Uh, I don't know that, Daniel. Okay. So uh, I know that you do have Xbox, but we'll see. I hope it's still Xbox. Yeah. For the people who don't play game, uh, All Xbox right. okay, guys. is okay. a useless. So a new one. Yeah, yeah. Doctor said, I, "I have a like my a serious question." I already have my, right, guys, my Xbox. Okay. My mom. Yeah, yeah. everyone buy it. I have a serious. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Okay, I I still have important speaker to share some more things with you. Uh, I have uh, Shania here. Uh, Shania is 10th grade from uh, Tomasco Canyon High School. And I also have Devin, uh, who is also 10th grade student from Toy High School. So the reason I invite them both here is because they, you know, started the competition a really long time ago, I think two years ago. And then they've been doing all kinds of competition. Okay, Game Gala is only one of them. They've done Science Fair. They've done uh, Hacker Song. They've done some other, like, uh, Tech Innovation. I think Shania did that. So they, I think they won a lot. Uh, I, I definitely see that's not, uh, you know, an instance. So they, there must be something that they probably, um, you know, learned or they maybe they, they have their tips, their, their lessons. So I definitely like to have both of them to share uh, some of their experiences. Uh, so maybe, Shania, you want to uh, talk about uh, first? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, by the way, I know both of you are very busy. And then thanks so much for, for your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me share my screen. Oh, uh, it says yeah, the YouTube here. Here, and then you can. Um, mm -hmm. go ahead. All right, Shania, please try. Okay. This is my previous one. Okay. Can you guys all see the presentation? It should say game gala preparation yeah. advice. Yeah. 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 Good. I think I... Okay. So my name is Shania. I was the first place winner in game gala last year for the ninth to 12th division or ninth to 12th grade division. Um, so basically I'm gonna start with some tips for the interview. Um, try writing down, one second, I need to close something. Try writing down and brainstorming uh, topics you plan on touching on. Just like basically certain, like important stuff about, important information about your project that uh, you really want to talk to, talk to judge about. <laughs> I'm stuttering right now. If you have troubles with speaking on the spot, try writing a script. Um, I do recommend though, if you are writing from a, or if you are going to write a script, try to memorize some parts of it, just so that when you are with the judge, you're not like reading a piece of paper and like not, it like it defeats the purpose of actually having the camera. You want to be able to at least say some things, um, just like facing the camera, not just, you know, reading off of the script. You want to practice some basic speaking skills. You don't want to stutter. You don't want to pause for a long time and forget what you're trying to say and then have to go back. And then it's, you don't want your interview to become a mess just because you only have five to 10 minutes and you want to make those minutes um, count. You want to turn on your camera, of course, uh, as soon as you get into breakout room. You don't have to turn it on. Uh, when you are in the actual main room, which everyone waits in before you go to a uh, breakout room to have an interview, but you should turn on your camera for the interview. You should start with saying like, hello, my name is yada yada. I am in 10th grade or I am in whatever grade. I go to this school and my project is called this. Or you could ask them like, oh, how was your day? Or you know, just some very basic questions just to start it off, just because that way um, you're able to be seen as a person rather than just, hello, my project is uh, called Color Run and I spent three days, you know, 
And then also be ready to answer some general questions. Although uh, Dr. Sun did say that he does not know any of the questions, some of the very basic questions are like, what was the hardest thing about this project? Um, how much time did you spend on this project? Did you have to learn anything new for this project? Or maybe what was your favorite part uh, in making this project? And yeah, just those very general questions, which is why it's super important that you know a lot about your project, you know, why you made it, you know, um, just how it works, those like those stuff like that. And uh, for the interview, if you do want to have some kind of uh, presentation, you want to have a digital presentation like PowerPoint or Google Slides, and that's going to be way better than a physical poster board or trifold for online. Just because uh, if you were to have a physical poster board or trifold, you would either have to hold it up to the camera or you have to take a picture and share your screen. And usually the text will be very small, very hard to read. And it's just not as good as a PowerPoint or Google Slides. And usually digital things are uh, they do come off as neater than hand-drawn or printed things. Um, for your PowerPoint or Google Slides, you should have large and easy to read text like the one on my slides. You don't want to have too much information on it. The reason why is because you don't want the PowerPoint to be just an article, to just be an essay. That's not the whole point of the interview. You're supposed to be able to verbally ex explain um, your project to the judge and explain why you made it, how you, how you made it, or things like, just you have to explain the project verbally. And then you should also have all the tabs you need open beforehand. You don't want to be talking about your game and then, or your project, and then you're like, oh crap, one second, I need to open something, I'm so sorry. And then you go off to the side for like one minute without actually talking to them, to them. that's just, that's not good. And you also want to load the game or project before the interview. This is just a really quick tip, just because five to 10 minutes is not a lot of time. And if your project is a bigger project, it'll take more time for it to load. And sometimes my projects take like six minutes to load and that's more than half of the interview time. So you just want to have that loaded. And if you can't load the interview or if you can't load the game or the project before the interview, um, you should definitely have an updated demo video. I probably wouldn't use the demo video you already submitted if you uh, have made updates recently and you want to show those updates. Um, so if you really want to record a demo video, you should probably do it tomorrow and just keep it just in case that uh, you can't start up your game on the day of or some technical difficulties. Maybe um, your connection is just really bad and it's just taking a long time, things like that. Uh, next is do not be afraid to talk about aspects of the game that you are proud of. Be confident in your work. So in my game last year, I spent a lot of time on a specific detail. It wasn't very uh, significant, but I felt that it was a representation of my effort and my time. So I wanted to show the judge, oh, or I wanted to point out, oh, well, look, I actually did this thing and it wasn't necessary. It was just to kind of make the game seem better. And it was a, I was able to impress the judge because it showed that I was actually invested in this project. I wasn't just, oh, let me go online and search up a YouTube tutorial. Oh, okay, I'm done. You know, that kind of thing. Talk about uh, both what the players see in game and how the game is played. So basically you want to be able to show the judge a complete game as if you were not there, as in if you were not there, they would be able to understand the game entirely and they would be able to understand how to play it. Um, you want to talk about like the main goals of the game, um, the main objectives or some obstacles in it or why the game is supposed to be fun or why it's supposed to be a certain thing. Um, you also wanna explain, explain how the code works and other details and um, that are in behind the scenes. Um, you want to be able to connect the code to the game. You don't want to just show, oh, this is a game. Oh, this is the code. I did this. I had three dictionaries. I compare, you know, 
that's not interesting. You have to explain, well, okay, so for this one, I actually used it for this thing so that this, can, this thing in the game can do this and it's, you have to make those connections. Uh, next are some tips for the actual game. Um, this won't actually apply to any science fair projects, but you can still feel free to listen. Um, you want you should try building a user interface, basically just like a very simple screen, maybe with the logo of the game, or maybe just like a play right a play sorry, play button. And once you press the play button, it shows you the instructions or what controls you're supposed to use. And once you press OK, it brings you to the actual game. The reason why is because like I said earlier, you want this to be a complete game. You don't want to be sitting there and being like, oh, sorry, you're supposed to play with arrow keys. You're not supposed to play with WASD. Sorry, I didn't say that in the game, but you, ha you have to do that. Or like, oh, sorry, um, actually this game is supposed to be like this because it's not a full game that way. You're supposed to present a full, you're supposed to present um, a game that was full and yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, if your game does seem boring to play, like you've played through it yourself and you didn't really find it entertaining, you can try adding some small details tomorrow, just like that make it competitive or more difficult. These can include timers or competitive scores or just some kind of competition or some kind of drive to make them want to do something. Um, you can also, oh, sorry, I skipped over it, add copyright free music. Music is really good, is really great for when you want the player to feel something. For example, for my game last year, I wanted them to feel frustrated when they were playing the game. I wanted to make an annoying game. So what I did was I went online and got some copyright free music that was super annoying, that would just loop forever, and they would just have to play with that music. Um, you also want to double check for major bugs or problems, especially on Saturday in the morning before the interviews start. You don't want to load your game in, have all this prepared, and while you're having your interview, it just crashes or it just doesn't work. You know, those are those are just big failures. Um, yeah, basically that's my advice. Thank you for listening. All right. Well, thanks so much, Shania. Um, any questions for Shania? Um, if if we like, if we like, um, it doesn't load, then can't we just show them on Roblox if you published a game already? Yeah, so if you already published the game, I'm sure you can try to actually load it up. But I'm just saying um, if it has problems, as in you're able to load it up, but midway you run into an object that you coded for or something and it just doesn't work or it just like, doesn't work the way you want it to. That's why you have to ch check for bugs um, beforehand. I have a question. So, sh uh, do you need to have a pre like a presentation, Google Slides or PowerPoint? And if you do, should you use the one that you use for your submission video? Um, so you're not required to, and I'm sure if you feel that the PowerPoint that you use for your submission video. Uh, is well updated, it has good information about your project, then you can definitely use it. Um, the reason why I would use a PowerPoint is because it allows me to organize my interview. I'm able to know what I want to talk about, uh, what I want to show the judge, and it's just like a better presentable way of a flashcard of just like bullet points of points I want to get to. So in the beginning of the interview, when they ask you to get started, you would just pull up your PowerPoint or slides and then go through the slides? Yeah, you can, I mean, there's definitely a, a lot of different ways that you can do this. You could uh, pull up your slides and then go in between the slides because you know, obviously you can switch between tabs on your computer or you could just finish the slides first and then go over to the game and the code. Yeah, you can just do whatever works best for you. All right, thanks. Yeah, that was a great question, Josh. Um, so for slides, it's definitely not required. I think it really depends on your style. And then as Shinya mentioned, having a slides, especially have really nice slides, good looking slides, definitely helps, uh, helps yourself, but also help the judge to see your idea. But then if you were making the slide, just to make sure it's, it's a, just a very few number of slides, I would say it's three or four, no more than four, because we don't have a ton of time. Just capture the most important parts 
and then um, you know make the slide looks nice. Uh, too, not too much text, okay? Uh, graphical and attractive. Um, but you know if you feel more comfortable showing the game, playing and talk about that also works. Uh, hi there. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, Thomas, go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I have a question for. Uh, yes, yeah, what, what was her name again? Oh, Shania. Uh, Shania, yeah, I, I have a question for you about Game Gala specifically. All right, so that was a very good uh, presentation, first of all. But my question is uh, what do you feel is the core? To your success last time you were at Game Gala? Like, what um, is one thing that you think that made you, you know, get the top or get the first place in the game, in the competition? Okay, so I think the main reason as to why I won would be my game was complete. It was fun, it was playable, it had instructions, it was like as if, if I wasn't there to explain it, it was just a complete game. And I just published it. I was able to publish it. It was just a very complete game. Like, yeah. yeah. Great, thanks. All right, well, uh, thanks again, Shania. I could, so I think, uh, Shania, if uh, you can stay till the end, maybe there are maybe more questions, um, but I'd like to turn it over to Devin. Um, so as I mentioned, introduce Devin, also 10th grade student, and then he is a very good coder and he's had made quite a lot of projects over the past couple of years. And then they haven't been doing a lot of professional hacker songs in the past half year, as far as I know. Uh, and I think he won some of those also. So definitely a, a good coder that has a lot of experiences. So Devin, uh, you wanna share some of the good lessons you learned? Yes, yeah, thank you, Dr. Sun. I don't really have a slide, but I would divide it into two parts. Yeah. Um, uh, the hard part where it's all the technical part, the gameplay, and and then there's a soft part where you have to explain everything. In the perfect scenario, um, you know, when you, when your hard part is good enough, when your game is good enough, you the judge will automatically know, but the world isn't perfect. So you really need a lot of soft part to convey the idea. So I have two main things that I use. So the first one is, uh, it's a term I borrowed from TCP technology. It's called the three-way handshake. And basically what happens is um, the judge asks you a question and you give a response, but then you also check to see if they get it. You, when you explain something, you don't really just want to explain and tell them. You also want to see if they actually get it, like look into their eyes. Like if there's confusion in there, you, you must ask them further question to make sure they understand and make sure your time isn't wasted. And the second idea is just uh, ask them a lot of questions that is related to your own game. Like, have you played this genre before? Uh, it does. It might not actually make them know it more, but it will make them like you more and remember you more. And in terms of the hard part, I think two way to immediately level up your game it is just first you add a lot of feedback in your game. It's a really quick polishing technique. You could just do it like in like in one day and before the competition, you just open up your code editor and then for every action player do give it a sound, give it a, a graphic feedback and give it a point system. Like you really want the player to have a feedback. And the second one is uh, add some randomness into your game. So that way it's more, it's just some little techniques that could make it more fun. And in terms of the technical part, you always want to stay ahead of your peers in terms of technology. And for example, when you're, all your peers are making 2D game, you really want to learn 3D modeling and make a 3D game. So that's, that's the really the core way that you could make sure that you always win. And because like talking is, uh, is really soft and everybody could do talking and, and like uh, explaining your idea, that's just um, not the core part. The core part is you have a really solid technical game that uh, like, you know, when everybody are doing single player game, you have a multiplayer game where everybody are doing uh, like the RPG, you have RTS. So you really want to be superior in terms of tech technology. And this way the judge will remember you. And if you explain the superiority clearly, even if, if you don't have superiority, you just fake it until you make it. So like just 
just make it feel like you're technically superior and make the judge realize that you have better technology than your peer. And I think that is one of the biggest consideration factor for them to make you win. So yeah, that's all I want to say. Yeah, Devin, thanks so much. That's a great point. I really like one of the points uh, Devin mentioned about, you know, um, chatting with a, ju a judge and figure out, you know, the common interest, uh, build that kind of connection. And, you know, trust me, most of the judges also like games, just like all of us. And then you, you, you may want to find out what kind of game they like to play. And maybe some of the judges also, I don't know if they like Minecraft, but they should like some of this, uh, maybe the games high school player, uh, school student they like to play. And then, you know, you have this kind of conversation, build this common interest, and then the common topics, definitely, uh, you know, very, uh, very helpful for uh, letting the judge remember you. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Shania, go ahead. Can I also add something? Um, I think a good way to test your superiority, as you were saying, is to actually have people you know play the game. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be your parents. You can ask your friend to try it out because you're able to tell if they like the game based off of their uh, first reaction. So if they join the game, they play around for a minute, if they seem very invested in it or they really like it, you can tell that your game is attractive. But if you, if they're kind of like playing around, they play for like half a minute and they're like, oh, sorry, I don't think, I don't think this is for me or like, uh, I don't, uh, it's, it's okay. Like they say something that's generally nice, but that's not like very um, specific to your game or that's very like kind of fake like oh yeah you did a great job okay thank you like those kind of things you can kind of tell based off of the person's reaction like how attractive your game is yeah i think that is definitely extremely important and i also think that other than like making fun you really have to make it look uh your explanation look super technical like maybe it doesn't really matter if you're high schooler but if you're elementary kid and then you have a network game that using some crazy TCP protocols to build a multiplayer game, or you, if you have 3D graphic and, you, and you're and you only in elementary, you're, you're really gonna impress those judges with your technical skills. Devin, you mentioned about being superior and while others making 2D that you make 3D. How do you know the trend? How, how do you know what, how, what most people will make? Uh, I, I really just compare with the past me, like. Last time I played 2D, so this time I make 3D. Because there's one time uh, where I just uh, make a 2D game and I made another 2D game, but the second 2D game failed because and then I realized that uh, other people are progressing. And if I make the same 2D game twice, I'm not really following up the progress. So you really have to like uh, compare with the past self maybe. Okay. I have a question, but I'm just curious, but what projects did you two do? Uh, the first, I mostly do RTS style project. I first made a 2D RTS game. Uh, it's kind of like StarCraft where you control a bunch of units and they kill each other. Uh, but, but right now I'm not making RTS. Right now I'm making, uh, 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 MMO RPG, a massively multiplayer RPG for browser. All right, well, that's very technical, Devin. And um, yeah, hopefully you can you know, show some of the cool games you made recently. All right, and then, yeah, once again, thanks so much for Devin and Shania uh, joining us and spending the time. Uh, does anyone else have any other questions or comments? No. <laughs> So yeah, as, as just uh, one more time, as I mentioned that um, uh, for sure, make sure you can open your project, run it, know your stuff, know the code, and then practice rehearsal, okay? The more the better, you can just do it yourself and then be familiar with how to share the screen and do everything in the room. Um, and then I think you will be good to go. Okay, so as I Wait. mentioned, I'm sure you will enjoy the process. It, it's not an exam, it's a good show, a good talk. Uh, to the judge. Uh, I think Wait, I have a question for you, Shen. Yes, yes, Barbie, go ahead. Um, do you like jelly cats? <laughs> what is jelly cats? I saw on the back on your table, 
are those jelly cats? My bag? The, the, the toys. No, oh. the, the girl. Oh, it's Nia, okay. No, I don't have a jelly cat, but you know what I do have? It's a fluffy llama. Yeah, I thought I thought that was je- that was jelly cat at first because they're all like fluffy toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, very cool. You never understand girls' relationship. Yeah, yeah, that's very very true. <laughs> I love to to understand that. Uh, I'm sure others can. <laughs> All right. Well, good to have you here, Barbie. And then uh, definitely uh, prepare that. Okay. All right. So any other questions, guys? All right. Well, uh, once again, thanks so much for... Um. So this game is in East or West time. It's in West time. So where are you now? Um, in China. China. Okay, so you, that's going to be a little bit tough. But by the way, what's your what's your name? David. David. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit tough, David. I, I my guess is it's going to be a, one or two a.m. in your time, and then maybe have some good sleep early and get it up. Um, try to finish it and then go back to sleep. But you know, definitely try to make it, David. Should double check the time. Okay, so Western time. So if I'm if I'm not wrong, I think it's gonna be two a.m. around two a.m. to four a.m. Um, I have a question. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, could you talk about um like the tips on science fair? Like you were kind of focusing on like more of the games. Uh, was that Amber? Yeah, that was. Yes, so no, it's actually pretty much the same, Amber. The game guide, the format is very similar to Science Fair. Okay, they, uh, again, right now it's online, it's all the same. The only difference I think in the game guide, you pretty much present a computer project where the Science Fair, you normally have a poster. Um, but the still, even the Science Fair, I still see a lot of students bring a computer to do that. So it, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I don't see there any difference. Of course, Science Fair normally, you go more, you got more scientific topics and then, but the interaction is the same. It's do the judges stop by and check your project, ask your question individually. Uh, Shania, do you have anything to add for the science fair? I know you did one last year. Yeah, um, I think it would have to depend on the level you're at. If it is like county and above, it's generally more professional or more well-organized than a school or um, district kind of science fair um definitely if you're going to a kind of more well-organized science fair you want to be dressed nicely you want to make sure your speaking skills are on point you want to make sure that you're just well prepared um i think if you were going to like a school or district fair you just want to make sure that you seem passionate about the project you want to make sure that you're able to connect with the judges more thank you that was a good question, Amber. And then Alice, you have a question? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Alice. So, um, you know, I kind of came here late, and then like, um, and I see you're recording. So, can you like send the record, like the the recording? Yes, to, I like. Can. So, you know, I, I'll probably upload that to YouTube later on. But ask your mom to contact me to remind me. Okay, otherwise, I'll maybe forget. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Can we leave now? All right. Um, any other questions? Um, is it like a specific time of like the meeting? You mean the competition, right? Yeah, the competition. Yeah, so that just wait for the emails. I think they, they're going to send more details normally the day before the competition about the link. But you know, it's it's really. Uh, but today they did mention about the timing. I think it's nine thirty to twelve p.m. in the Is morning. It nine from the morning to like five in the afternoon. No, 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 no. I don't think it's gonna take a whole day. Either. Your your time is only like five or ten minutes. So as I mentioned, it's probably somewhere from nine thirty a.m. to twelve p.m. p.m. Of course, you you might need to wait for a while depending on when it's your turn. But 
just wait for more details coming up. Okay, so they will send like an email. They will, they will. Basically, what do you will get from what we saw in, in spring was a timing, a Zoom, that's it. You, you really don't need to prepare anything. Just click on Zoom, go. And then they have hosts there to tell you if you got questions, when's your turn, where you go and all of that. They, they will help people to find, to help you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sun? Uh, yes, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, it's just a question specific to my case. Uh -huh. Like, uh, can, uh, can, can I meet with Matt tomorrow? Like, so we can go over the app? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, just um, uh, send me a message later on after this. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. Good night. Ready to play for you. <laughs> All right. And then, so Zoe, you had a question about, you, you said about information, Zoe. Are you talking about the, oh, the timing? Yes. So it's basically that email you get. Uh, I think maybe, I don't know if it's your mom's email or others, but it's a, it should be going to the same email where you got the result. Wait, so like the results are already sent? I don't no, 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 sorry. The result of the final list. Oh. Yeah. Do you have that, Alan? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, very cool, guys. Any other questions? No. Yeah, Ethan. So I'll, I'll ask your mom. To oh, not science fair again. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What? Alex, do you have a question, Alex? No, not really. Wait, I just thought someone was going. I just thought someone was going to ask the difference between science fair and game gala again. Um, no, yeah. So it's it's pretty much yeah. the same format. Yeah, just the topic is different. I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, how many finalists are selected for grade nine to twelve in game gala? How many? It's five for every grade. How, how many finalists are selected? I don't know, Lawrence. I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wait, in the email, it says that there's five winners selected for every grade division. So I guess there's five winners. No, they're, they, they haven't got a winner yet. But I do know that they said there are over 200 something like a finalist. But that's across different categories. But I don't know specific de detail. Normally, what I saw was I think there are more students in the middle school area <laughs> group. Normally, so if you're in the middle school, well, just be careful. I think they're they're just more students doing in that category. Question. Yes, Barbie. Are there be any girl judge or woman judge? Hmm. Good question. Normally, not many. Not many. I don't know. I don't know. So, so last year, I, I can't remember if there's uh, last year there. I saw I saw a couple uh, female. Or for like which 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 grade, uh, like preschool or like middle school. That Barbie, you know that. You, you, you never know where judge will be, but it doesn't matter. Last year in a similar event called Ignite Expo, my judge is a female. Oh, I'm okay. pretty okay. sure. Yeah, it will definitely beat some, but. Uh, but sometimes female judge are like extra strict. <laughs> strict? Yeah. Why? Okay. I don't think so. Sometimes. Uh, but you know, don't don't worry about the judges. Well, I still love them. <laughs> sure all the judges are very highly encouraging, and they're so nice. At least they're facing to young. This looks like okay, but I don't know whether they will give you a good score. But uh, don't worry. Yeah, show your little cat. Uh, oh, sorry, that's Shania's, but uh, Barbie, I saw you. Yeah, show some of your cute stuff, so the judge will like you. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> my um hairless cat <laughs> your hair hairless with no hair the cat speaks oh, okay do All you right. like hairless cat <laughs> depends on how it looks like it looks like a naked chicken but all right basically a huge naked rat Okay, guys. Okay, well, I have a question. Still cute. Any any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, uh, I have yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go first. Yeah, 
Like yeah, I'll go first. Okay, so I actually I didn't make a game. I uh, my coding teacher just said to enter my final project, and it's not even a game. So is my chance gonna be diminished by a lot? Um, <laughs> good question. I, I actually don't know, but um, we we it's not a really a uh, rare case. We we saw that every year because you know it, it's actually my idea that we ask all the teacher to push all of you to go, no matter what you're making. And I know we, we had some kind of, we, we had some of the cases that we just want to say, oh, you know, uh, try to relate with the game. I know they're not too picky, but, um, you know, to be honest, I feel that if they're picking the, the top, top price, the best, the ones who got Xbox, I, I assume that should be a, a pure game just because this competition is a game. However, However you, you can definitely have the chance to win, still win some kind of wars. I'm just feeling that the top words from what we saw before are pretty cool games. I hope you can see those games. But, I mean, I but, have, I made a game, but it, I don't want to, because uh, I didn't submit that, because it was like, I think like a month ago or something. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. This is only one of the competition. There, there are more. It's good. okay. If I don't get an Xbox, no, I can just buy myself yeah. one. There are more competition in the come every time there may be different scene then this one is specific about the game but it's you don't have to be 100 right um all right yeah some of those sometimes we got an ai scene sometimes we got a little like um animation uh it's all different so don't worry yeah but it's always good to kind of uh, go and get some good feedback i have another question yes alex go ahead so um in this competition like do we like get disqualified by something you got well you might be you you could be disqualified to the final that's why not every one of us are are going on saturday so if you got to the final that's actually a good thing even though there are a lot of finalists but still at least that shows your your project are decent um, um so but from the final list to the, I mean, the final, I guess your question is how many project can be winning? Um, that really depends. It depends on how they set up the words. Sometimes they may give a lot of words, sometimes not. Uh, some of the companies are really picky. You know, you got a hundred people going there. They only give four or five awards. But I don't think this is the case for Game Gala. Game Gala normally, we, we do saw quite a lot of words. Uh, although the, the Xbox was very limited. You know, there you, you can't expect everyone to get an Xbox home, um, but okay. you you are you are in the final, right? Are you, Alice? I don't know. Well, you, you should check it with your mom. Uh, whoever use register that for you. Okay. Yeah, find it all soon. Just curious. Oh wait, I think I think I am because it said I like got in or something, yes. something like that. Uh -huh. You're good to go. Just prepare for it. Okay. Wait, like, is there like an app for like, like, not really? Like, is there just like, you know, like, <laughs> how should I say this? Like, where, like, how to see, like, the like, how does the game work? How does the game work? Like, is it like each grade or? No, a group what? of grade. I think it's, uh, um, Four to six are together. Alan, which grade are you in? Uh, fifth. Yeah, so you you'll be competing with uh, the ones younger, one year younger, and one year older than you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think that's All how. Right. It works. Wait, so like, like, so like, like, you know, I'm a fifth grade, and then like, so I just go in a group of the people that's fifth grade, and like in fourth grade and middle school. That's this. You go to four to six. Wait, oh, okay. so like, is, is it like five from each grade group that competes? No, 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 no. There are a lot of people from that degree. There are over 200 people in the whole group. Yeah, lot. but like, how does it work? Is it like, is it like just like random matches or? No, I, no, I no. Get so that. The, the, every judge will look at a certain number of project and then the judge is going to pick the rank those from those, those projects seen. And then sometimes the judge have discussions on, on how they think this project are better than the others. Um, but for judging do those, 
authority will have their own opinion by looking at the project and rank them. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, all good questions. I have a question. Yes, Melody. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, is there like a specific um, question that's good to ask the judge? Because like if you actually manage to ask them a question, like if you ask them everyday questions, it just sounds like you're trying to manipulate them to me, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, Melody. So my, okay, I, I'm going to talk first. I'll have Devin and Shania to share something. What's that? If I were you, I probably will ask for advice. So for example, oh yeah, I'm going to you know create at this new level. I I can't decide should I go with um, you know uh, 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 difficult mode or easy mode or should I add more characters or should I create more scene or more maps? Do you have any preference or advice that you can give to me? Or I would ask. Oh, yeah, that is. No, I, I, I have this, I have this one challenge. I didn't know how to solve it very well. Whenever I, you know, uh, try to have the player fly, it, it just go to random directions. Doesn't sound feel real. What can I do to improve that? So, so I would ask like a specific question about your own project on improvement, uh, asking for advice. So that's one way to do it. So Shania and Devin, do you guys have anything to add? If you were asking judges for questions, yeah, I, mean, I would just say ask for some very simple advice. I wouldn't. Um, so when I talked about the everyday questions, I didn't mean as in like actively like, oh, how is your day? Oh, what is your job? Oh, like those kind of things. It was just kind of to start like a small conversation, just start it off, make you feel more comfortable with the judge. If you want to ask serious questions, uh, you can ask about their profession. You can ask about, um, well, I'm interested in computer science or I'm interested in this science or biology or whatever, but I'm not sure like how I can actually make that into a career. Like, I'm not sure how I can actually like do oh. something. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, excuse me? Uh, yes, yes, go ahead. Um, do you know, like, do they sort out like a specific judge for you or do they pick out like one at the last second? Uh, that I don't know, but normally they will um, divide all the project into different groups and then the judge will have a certain assignment. So for example, when I was judges for some of the science fair, I sometimes was asked to look at six projects. Sometimes I was asked to do as many as I can. I, I sometimes finished 15 projects within the two or three hours. And yeah, it could be a little random. So you never know. Um, but, but you know, it doesn't matter because you normally, uh, once the judge look at a bunch of projects, the judge will basically try to rate and rank those projects he or she have seen and then get some results. So it's, it's always the fairest, which means that you're not gonna compare with a prize that the different judge look, look at. So, so the judge will actually just, you know, read, read and rank on the things uh, he or she have seen. Does that make sense? Is judge to get paid to be the judge? Great question. Uh, most time, probably not. <laughs> Wait, what? seriously? I then how much like, they like red without money? Support, I don't so, think like, you would have motivation. Who, who will come? Where, where? The, the judges, you bribe them. They are engineers, they are professors, they are teachers. They don't need this extra pay. They just want to come they here. They do. They need them to. Wow, work. they're actually yeah. really nice. They're nice. So generous. They are, they are very nice, as I mentioned in the slide. So generous. Yes. Well, I can. This is very true. I, I've been to the judge to like even the, like international finals back in 2017 that's in downtown LA and then it's all, all volunteers even though we got pretty nice dinners um but then you, you do have to get up really early and spend the whole day there look at a project and discussion so it's um you know it's all for, for you guys so that's why definitely you know use this opportunity to to kind of show some of the good work I'm just feel like I'm, if I'm going to ask question myself 
to the judge, I I feel like I'm gonna act something impolite because of my personality. Well, it's 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 your、uh, yeah, it's it's your character, Bar Barbie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Then the judge gonna leave as soon as he, they join the breakout room. <laughs> okay. I have another question. Yes, Alice. So, um, like, when we compete, um, on Saturday or something. Wait, what day is it on again? It's Saturday. Oh yeah, so we compete on Saturday. Um, like, like, do we make a new project or do we just use an old one like we submitted? All right, I just clarified that. Remember, okay, you do not create a new project. It has to be the project、okay. submitted. Uh, they already saw it, and then、uh, you need. But do, but like, can we add some updates to it?、Yeah. You can improve it. That's totally fine. Yeah, because mine has stuff. Yeah, that's okay. You, you,、oh, there's there's nothing perfect. Okay, you can always improve. All right. Yes, yeah,、uh, Ethan, you can leave.、Uh, anyone, if you don't have a question, feel free to go. Okay. Uh, we're we're still here for a little bit more uh, uh moments, and then、uh, let us know anything else we can help. I just want to listen so I get more advice. Sure, Alan.、Yeah. Just being boring. Yeah, you, you have a lot of homework, Barbie. Homework, Barbie. Oh, I have final next week, and I didn't even look at them at all,、yeah, and、yeah. I'm feel so happy right now. We need to look at it. Okay, bye. Thank and、you. I have so many homework due tomorrow,、right. and、yes. it's already nine thirty, and I need to go to school tomorrow on campus, and I'm so happy right now. <laughs> you go, you go back to school every day. Bye.、Oh, Thank I, you. Bye.、Uh, go back first. Yeah, bye. Same. I'll go. I'll bye. Go on, bye oh God, I'll go on campus Monday. I have no school. Wow, sounds like a lot of you actually go to school now. Okay, I hope. It's I, just I, like you know, they separate like all the people into like two groups. Okay. So like each group go to school、I、for、see. two days. Okay. And stay at home for two days. All right. Do you have any of your classes? Class, 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 Oh,、um, I won't have. I, I, my school have not started yet. It's so sad when you need to get up at nine thirty in the weekend and not getting like the winner because I know I'm just PayPal. <laughs>、yeah.